Hello, welcome to the advanced Excel video training series from busyping.com. My name is Arun Nair and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to convert numbers to words. Now this is very helpful when you have a column full of dollar values and numbers and then you want to convert them into words, right? So to accomplish this, you need to use the Microsoft VBA language. Don't worry, you don't have to learn that language. I'm going to make it very simple for you. All right, so first go ahead and push Alt F11 and this will open up the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window. Now here, go ahead and click Insert and click Module. Then here you need to type in the coding. Now I have already typed the coding and I have it on my notepad. And I'm going to just do Control A, Control C and just right click, Paste. I have uploaded this notepad to Google Drive and I have put the link in the below video description. So you can go ahead and use my notepad file and do it. I actually got this coding from Microsoft KB article 213360, so it's it's already here. Uh, but in case of Microsoft removes this KB article, you still have it on my video. Okay, so once you do that, now you go to your spreadsheet, then on the top type uh, numbers or numbers, and here type just words. Uh, it just doesn't matter, you can type anything, it's just a header and I usually do a bold and center. Now, let's see, I type 23.5 and here, uh, the name of this function which I've given here is spell number. So you just type equal to spell number, open bracket, select this cell, close it and you can see $23.55. Now we can keep doing 45.6, 45.65, and 78.95, 1235.32. You can just keep adding any values you want and just double click here and it'll auto populate. So you can see $45.60, $45.65, and so on. Now, if your uh, country has a different uh, currency value, for example, I'm from India and I have rupees and paise. Now the, I can go ahead and just replace dollars with rupees and uh, cents with paise, but there's a little catch here. Uh, now dollar is sing singular and dollars is plural. Uh, similarly, rupee is singular and rupees is plural, so that that's pretty easy. However, for cents, you have one cent, but if it is five cents, it's five cents, C and T, S. It's, it's, so there is singular and plural for cents. But for Indian currency, uh, it is paise, and even if it's plural, the plural of paise is just paise. All right, so for that, what I need to do is, so I can go ahead and click Control F and type uh, dollar replace rupee. Now dollar will be replaced by rupee and dollars will be replaced by rupees. All right, so that is taken care. But for paise, what I need to do is, I first need to type cents and type paise, then replace all. So it has done 10 replacements. Now then I have to do for cent and still keep the replace with value as paise replace our, and I have one replacement. Now if I go back here and um, if I actually just drag it again, it, it's all changed from uh, dollars and cents to rupees and paise. All right, so now if you have just 1.25 and if you want to test that, just drag it, one rupee and 25 paise. So paise still remains as singular as rupee, it, it changes between singular and plural, right? Uh, now, if you want to save this workbook, what you need to do is go to File, Save As. Now, this is a macro coding, so you will have to save it as a macro enable workbook. So, select Excel macro enable workbook, and I can go ahead and save it. All right, uh, so I hope this video was informative to you. Thank you for watching, and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel.